Hello everyone, it's Sheila back, I'm back with another tutorial. It, this is to show um, a lot of my patterns when I print them out, um, the cardigans, I print out the instructions how to do the, um, the left side. But usually most most patterns you can have the um, just reverse the stitches for the um, the right side. But a lot of people, I think, probably knew knitters and that don't know how to do that. So I've had quite a few emails and messages and that asking about that. So I'm going to do a little video to show that. So I have two lots. I'm going to show the, um, the left side first and then the right side and put them together so you'll know. <laughs> so this is the right side and I've cast on a few stitches. I've got about 20 stitches just to show. And... For the left side, you finish on the wrong side. So you're going to do the, um, the cast off stitches here. So say I'm casting off three stitches. I'll cast off three stitches. That's one. One. Two. Three. And then I will knit across that row. And I'll blow that up so you can see better. These are just little scraps of wool that I'm uh, using to show to show this and just a little miniature piece that I've knitted. So that is the left side and with the left side you finish on the wrong side row and then you cast your stitches off which I've cast three stitches off. That is for the left side. Now I'm going to show the right side. Now the right side you want to cast off stitches on the other end. So I'm going to have to knit across another row. So when you come to do the right side you knit one more row than what you've done on the left side. And if you look at the instructions for the back on any pattern, that more or less tells you how to do the, um, the left and the right side shapings. But a lot, I suppose, a lot of newer knitters probably haven't realised that, you know. So it's easier just for me to show. So that's for the, um, the right side and I have finished on the right side so I'm going to turn that over and now I'm going to purl cast the stitches off purl wise so I'm going to cast off three stitches it's one two three so I've cast off three stitches on the the wrong side and I'm going to purl across the end of that row. And I hope you can't hear my printer in the background because I'm busy printing off patterns. I forgot when I started this video that the printer was running. My hearing's not all that good. I probably don't hear it, but a lot of other people might. So that's that. Row the cast off stitches and knitted to the end of the row. So when you put them together, that's your left side where you cast it off the stitches. But for the right side, you do one extra row and you cast off the stitches on the other end. Now I'll start again on this side. Now I'm going to have to knit to purl across on this row. Back to the armhole shaping.
So now I'm going to show you how you do the um the shaping now. Now this is the right side, the um the left side. So I want the shaping the stitches to go to facing inwards. So going from that that way inwards on the needle. So I'm going to knit one stitch. Knit one stitch. And with the left side you slip. This is how I do the um, the shaping. You slip the first stitch, knit the next stitch, and pass that slip stitch over. And as you can see, the, um, that stitch is leaning inwards. So I'll knit to the end of that row. And that's the first decreasing done on the um, the left side. And now on the right side, because you did one extra row to get your um, your shaping on the opposite side, um, you're on the right side for doing the um, the shaping unless you're doing more rows in between the um, the decreasing. So I'm going to knit with this one to the last three stitches. Now we're on to the last three stitches and those three stitches I'm going to knit two stitches together and knit one. You don't do the same stitch that you did on the um, the left side because that would make the, um, the, the stitch lean out over instead of in over. So you knit two together instead of slip one and knitting one. So I'm knitting two together. Knit one. And there you can see those stitches are leaning inwards, which is the way you want it. So I will do one or two more rows and do a few more decreasing and then I will come back. So that's a few little rows I've done just to make it look like an armhole shaping. I've done three all together, I think, on each side. Now this is the left side and we're going to shape the neck now. Well... When we did the cast off stitches, we finished on the wrong side, but because the neck part is on the opposite side of that same piece, we're finishing on the right side. That was the last row we did on the right side. So we're turning it around and so you were casting off three stitches for the, um, the neck band. So we cast off three stitches. It's one. Two. Three. Oops, I lost my needle. That's it. And now it's a purl row, so we're going to purl to the end of that row. One. And then when you're doing the shaping on that side, you would knit at your armhole edge as usual. And slip one, knit one, pass the slip stitch over. And if you're decreasing on alternate rows, you would do it on the right side. So you would knit you can either knit to the last three stitches or the last two stitches. Well, I'll do it to the last two stitches. The last three, sorry. That's three, so you want the sloping to go in over on this one for the so you knit two together and knit one. And that's how you start the shaping of the neck on the left side. And now I'll show you on the um the right side. 
And on the right side, you did the um, the shaping when you started the shaping on the um, the armholes. You finished on the um, the right side, and the shaping was done on the on the wrong side. But for the neck band, as you wanted on the opposite side, we finished on the wrong side, and we're going to start the shaping on the right side. So we're going to cast off three stitches here. That's one, two, three, and then knit across to the end of the row. Or to the last three stitches. You knit two together and knit one and because we started on on the right side we'll have to knit one more row to get across to the um to do more shaping on the um the neck so we go across so you always knit one more row extra on the right side to do the um the shaping than you do on the left side And now we're at the um the neck we're going to shape the neck it would be done on alternate rows so you would knit one stitch slip one stitch knit one stitch and pass the slip stitch over so that the the stitch is sloping inwards to meet the one on the other end going inwards the two together and knit one and that is how you reverse the shaping on any cardigan that um, you're doing so I hope that was helpful to a lot of you um, new knitters who maybe didn't realize how that was done but give a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll show you more some other time. So bye for now.